Hi everyone, welcome again, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's me your man Idris and you know how I do it. And today I'm making a video about the 7 things I hate about bowling. And yeah, just wait before you form your opinion because it sounds really weird, how can you hate bowling because everyone loves it. Of course I also love it, but there's also some things I think it's an interesting conversation for me. and. There are also some things I don't really like about Berlin, so this is also the reason why I'm making this video. Not only me, also just to pass the information, the few things I know and I want to share with the rest of the world. Maybe someone who wants to move here or maybe you're already living here, you're already living in Berlin but still you're not aware of all these things. So this is the reason why I'm just making this video of like what I hate about Berlin. So let's get to it. And yeah, the number one reason why I hate Berlin is the GDP. Berlin is one of the poorest of the bigger German community with the lowest GDP because Berlin GDP is lower compared to the rest of the German states. And Berlin is like the, the rebel child of Germany because every single year over 50,000 people move to Berlin to live here and every single year on the other hand over 3 billion euro is sent from the southern state to keep Berlin running because also with the lowest GDP it has a lot of profound effect on the bureaucracy for example like transportation like uh, cleaning the street and so on and you know there is also like a saying like uh, poor but sexy <laughs> and that's what it's all about in Berlin because the lowest GDP doesn't only have this profound effect on only technology and street cleaning and so on but it also have like some profounding effect on let's say people getting job because they will also get good job of course which is their dream job but at the end of the day in some sense they will get lower paid based on the city GDP. Germany is the only country in the world that would have had higher GDP per capita but Berlin got ripped, ripped off badly. Second thing I heard about Berlin hmm, is not the cigarette, it's not the smoker. I also do smoke sometimes even though I'm not like heavy smoker or something. But I also did do smoke, but it's the cigarette filters. Come on, man, really. When you're walking on the street in Berlin, just be aware of this because too many people don't have pay attention to this. But there is a lot of cigarette filters on the ground. Every single, everywhere, especially when you go to like a place like Mauer Park, it's like that's the place they invented the cigarette filters. It's everywhere especially in this place where people have like this karaoke shows every Sunday the cigarette filter is everywhere and people also don't still look at it in this way because if someone can be able just to just smoke a cigarette and just drop the filter on the ground and this also shows us like the problems in our society this is also showing us problem we are having in our community because this person wasn't really thinking straight and one person has a lot of uh, effect on the rest can has more than millions of effect on the rest of the people so if one person is creating a mess and just throw, throwing their cigarette filters on the ground everywhere I mean if you can take five six years to finish your masters and you can wait that far to finish your masters come on man can you just also take just one or two minutes Hold your filter and when you get to the trash bin and put it there or where they put the cigarette thing, you know what I mean? Just be patient as well. If you take you five, six years to really get your masters and then take just two, three minutes to hold your cigarette filters and you can bin it in the right place. And these are other things I hate about Berlin. I mean, I don't hate the people. I don't hate the smokers, I also do smoke as well, but if you are one of these people doing these things, please stop. I hate that. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people also hate it as well. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to press the subscribe button because it's also helped me to create more content and also to know people support me and they love also what I do. The third thing I hate about Berlin is searching for apartment. Jesus Christ. <laughs> getting a job in NASA 
is pretty much easier than getting an apartment in Berlin because getting an apartment in Berlin sometimes seems like mission impossible because it's the price is really high not only high and people also don't get like real like real pay so they could be able to afford this uh, expensive rents and so on and for me I don't really like that for because the housing problem is not one person problem it doesn't matter where you come from and in some case even it doesn't matter even if you have money or not if you think money can solve all the problem in Berlin even money don't solve apartment problem <laughs> The next thing you're gonna do is like some different guys sending you emails on uh, maybe I don't know where you're trying to get your apartment from and they will tell you they are in Denmark or they are in the UK so they're gonna DHL you the keys to the apartment and then you have the view some are even in Turkey <laughs> And for me, this is one of the things I hear about Berlin. I mean, I get it. The other person wants to prove like he's smart, but people are really desperate here, yeah, looking for a place to stay. And if maybe there could be more, like if the government could keep the balance in terms of how people can get apartments, and then it would be much, much nice and cool and pretty. Still poor but sexy. Another thing I hate about Berlin I'm, I'm, I won't say maybe everyone hates this in some sense because I'll just say maybe just my own opinion on this because it's like the food quality in Berlin maybe some people think about it the same way I did but for me the food quality in Berlin is not really really good and when I say the food quality I mean things we get from everywhere including lady Kofler all the quality of the food sometimes is just it's a shit show and one ironical thing I will also try to mention about the food quality in Berlin because sometimes you even try to shop bio like to go to some bio market or to go to Dennis all these um, bio companies to get some good food which is also nice yes but at the same time is you go and get something buy but still wrap in the plastic which is really really ironic for me because okay I want to get something bio if you're already selling me something bio inside the plastic okay it already says, says it all it already says like every single thing you need to know about the quality of the food you're going to get because <laughs> if you can get something bio <laughs> inside the plastic and then it's a fun it's fun but at the same time but for me I don't really like that as well because if people pay way too much of money to get something they think it's worth it they think it's really something good it's different from other products and the quality should be good but you still get something by it's still fucked up anyway so why do we still have to spend so much money on food like the quality also is not the same as we thought so that's Another thing I hate about Berlin, the food quality and in German, yeah, quality. Another thing I hate about Berlin is the customer service. I mean, there is a saying like, you know, customer always right. In Berlin, not so real because people who are even attending to you can be so rude. When I say rude, I, I and also don't get it wrong you know it's not like maybe because of where you're from it's just your nature they are not just so that nice and this is also why so many people also don't get tips from their work or from where maybe they work in like in hospitality for example this is also the reason why tips in Berlin is not high at all it's really low for people in the industry who work like in this gastronomy and so on and uh, and the reason why uh, I also don't like the uh, customer service is for example when you go to a place like uh, the Burger the the, 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 the the bureaucratic thing like you go to Burger or the Oslo the beyond there the foreign office believe me it's not a really it's not a really nice film you, you mean 
I mean, because the picture there, it's really different. They won't attend to you like, okay, we are talking to person. That will make you feel like you did everything you wrong, like you are a victim. Customer service because there are also many people. Well, and for example, let's say Shufa, for example. If you try to reach Shufa, maybe you have some problem with Shufa and you have to remove it, or maybe you already paid the reason why your name is still in the Shufa. But they won't attend to you. It's not gonna happen. You have to wait maybe three, five years to get that done and to to wait maybe three years until they remove it automatically on their system and which is also really bad because yeah another thing I hate about Berlin I mean I'm not saying this to be mean but just my own opinion because in Germany Berlin is also one of the city one of the states in Germany to beg money is forbidden and of course I can understand also like every humans also sometimes we are not perfect, we have our home flaws and so on. But the pain, I mean, I mean the beggar, the people who beg money. I, I have nothing against them, but when they see you inside the Uber or the subway, the x bar it's not really nice. There is a guy like he has some, maybe some injuries in his mouth. And to let like this type of guy to be begging money, especially inside the s band it's maybe he has some disease who knows but it's just going to get close to you and it will be scratching that for you to see and this i don't and if the policeman can see that and they couldn't even because it's not legal anyway to beg money in berlin it is not legal it's against the law berlin is one of the states in germany that it is against the law to beg money even if someone will give you money as a gift Maybe you have to even pay some tax on it if like you will follow it the right way I mean but people just try to <laughs> get money in cash, no payments so the tax office don't fuck them over. But at the end of the day what I'm trying to say is the people will beg money if they can try also to take very good care of the people who get into like the subway like the public transportations and this can be really really nice because also they won't be harassing people they shouldn't and finally the number seven thing i don't like about berlin is the smell i mean I love the smell of Berlin, but not every time because there are some time maybe you are on your way going back home from work and just this breeze come from nowhere and just smash you in your face like <laughs> That's really crazy because uh, the smell sometimes it's not so good and it can make you sick like i mean there is smell of course everywhere but sometimes in berlin it can just be too much for example when you go to place like noikon i don't mean the old noikon i mean the yeah the crazy part of the noikon which is let's say you're walking from kiaman plant and you're going to like um you no know, sunny alley in this direction oh ho every evening around 6 to 9 p.m every single day just that street always smells really bad and sometimes maybe you also have to like speed like five six seven ten times that like, because you can't hold everything so this also is one of the things i don't like about berlin yeah the smell but Berlin really smells good, eh? of beautiful people. But at the end of the day, the breeze thing can also be a little bit thing to take care of the environment so there won't be so many like um, air pollution. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video and you watch it this far to the end, so I want to say first of all, you are my hero. Pew. And the second thing is for you to know is like, if you also like have a suggestion of what you would like to see in my next video, you can put it down comment, comment, comment. So, so you can put like some comment down below so I can also read from the comments, okay, what well, you would like to see or something. So, and also you can also let me know your opinion about it. And uh, maybe there's, there are some ways I can still improve what I do, but so far i hope you guys enjoyed and if you haven't subscribed please
comment like and subscribe and support me and show real love if you also enjoy it feel free to share with your friends and thank you very much and see you in the next video